trying to finish the transom reinforcement start by marking your uh, the markings to mark where you're gonna put your epoxy down so uh, what I mean is you, you mark where we remember when we cut the transom and we cut the reinforcement pieces now we got to attach and glue and nail those pieces too once you have it marked you need to get your wood flour your measuring cups and your epoxy and we're gonna measure and coat both sides so the uh, uh, thinned out epoxy with xylene so it soaks into the wood then we'll put some thickened epoxy and we put that sucker on there you only have so much pot life with this epoxy so you kind of need to set everything up and so you can work fairly quickly with it the mixture with my epoxy is two to one so two parts resin to one part hardener and you need to mix it thoroughly every molecule of resin needs to find a molecule or of, of two molecules of, of hardener or one molecule of hardener whatever and I don't want to waste any and I want as much of it to soak into the wood as possible so I'm gonna add some xylene to it how much xylene doesn't really matter more neighbors more neighbors as long as it's pouring like hot syrup that's about the consistency I want for this first sort of coating you can either pour it on drizzle it on like so or you can just dab it on just whatever you want doesn't really matter just get some on there and set it aside and don't waste it because this stuff is expensive and so just like I've done with my floats it's just how I do it with the boat it's not really any different it's the same material it's the same technology it's just wood and epoxy okay so that's that one and we want to do the same thing here just and more of it gets soaked into the wood so we don't end up with a dry joint and while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and do the upper part because this epoxy goes off fast hot down here today it's fairly cool but it's generally hot here in the south uh, if you go over the boundary a little bit over the line don't worry I should have my scrapers to do this really instead of this thing and uh, this one I'm gonna have to do it over here off camera we're about out of sunlight and we're about out of pot life with this stuff thicken this stuff up to about the consistency of peanut butter you generally don't want it to move that much that's a little bit too touch too loose we're gonna a little bit more and, uh, it's kind of weird we thinned it out now we're thickening it up again <laughs> so now I'm not gonna worry about it on both sides I'm just gonna put it thick on one side put this on one side of it a lot of people would say use contact cement or contracting cement or, or uh, construction cement things like that construction glue like that uh, that's a good option too it would be a heck of a lot faster and it'd be a whole trust me a whole lot cheaper because I've already bought this why buy something else that's my whole thing definitely gonna need more on this end but I said I was only gonna put it on one half that's not true I'm gonna put it on both halves this is a touch thin just a touch but we can make this work because uh, we can always clamp it if it moves around on us too much if you spill any little splotches like that get them up because you'll, you'll spend you're gonna spend the years sanding this thing if you don't okay we're gonna set this guy here so we get a nice even spread here more or less that's what we got to do it's not, it doesn't have to be perfectly even just you know the, the 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 temperature is heating up it's sort of melting it'll sort of spread itself out it sticks too long no. and once that's there uh, set that in 
We use these clamps. If you see some of that squeezing out, that's okay because we're going to be adding more. Let's get to the top piece here. This is only about half of the reinforcement, then we'll turn it over once this cures. Oh, great. Did not want that to happen. This one's certainly floating a little more. You know, you can, you know, take that extra and just squeeze it in places like that. Got these old clamps here. They'll work just fine. I'm gonna lift the whole thing up. Ah. Yeah. And clamp it. Wonder why don't I use these? Because they won't open up that wide. I'd have to cut another slit down through it. But I don't feel like doing that and I have all these extra clamps, so why not do it the easy way? Use whatever you got. Don't feel you have to go out and buy anything. Just use whatever you have. And that's what I'm doing right now. So one, two, three, four. Put two more here. We'll be good. Now, if you notice here, all we have are the good old C clamps that are completely seized. Okay. I'm just going to put them in. Just need a little WD-40. It'll be fine here. And fellas, I think we got a transom. And we'll flip it over tomorrow, do the other side. Okay, you see? You see how this is oozing out? That's okay, remember. This is not a starved joint because we coated the both sides first, then applied the wood flour. So there's plenty of ooze in there. That just lets you know that it's, 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 it's good. So what you want to do is take it, your finger, you could finger with the glove on or off, doesn't matter, and just wipe it like that. Because that's essentially what we're going to do over the entire boat. All right, it's the old plenty card, you know, the one that they just went out of business. <laughs> it's like, thanks a lot. And then what you can do is scrape that up. Otherwise, otherwise you would have to sand all that off once it cures. You can either do it all now or just wait until it cures and do more or whatever. That would just throw it right there and it'll be thrown away. And uh, that's it for today, guys. I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we get back on it. All right.